It's big, it's long, it's heavy. Well, good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, the 9th of April. My birthday is this week. Woohoo! It is supposed to be 90 degrees today. Hey, uh, thank you very much for all the great comments on the no sugar video I did last week. I am going to show you a clip following this about that Honda Rune that some of you asked about and were interested in. And I have to apologize ahead of time because all I had at the moment was my contour camera. And as you know, most of you know, that there's no viewfinder in that camera. So I kind of held it in a bad position a few times. I tried really hard to show all the way around the bike as best I could. Anyway, here is the Honda Rune and my apologies for the bad camera angle a few times and I think the audio came out okay but it does not it doesn't really give you the full impact wow look at that backed up traffic it doesn't really um, give you a good idea of how good it it really does sound uh, this is an awesome bike so here goes thank you have a good week bye bye now So I can balance the nickel right there. Turn the key on. So this is a 2004 Honda Valkyrie Rune. They only made them in 04, and they only made two per dealership worldwide. And lucky me, I bought this one on eBay. I've added highway pegs to it and some chrome tips for the handlebars. And I have a two up seat that will go on and flow boards for the passenger that attach there. It's uh, electronically governed at 134 miles an hour. Wow. Which it achieves pretty easily. It's a lot smoother ride than I anticipated. It's big, it's long, it's heavy. How heavy is it? It's uh, 780 pounds. 780 pounds, wow. Um, it's all metal, no plastic. Valve covers and everything are all metal. And you said they only made a certain number for that year? I heard, I've heard two statements. One statement, they made two per dealership. Um, they did have a slight production overrun. They sold a couple of his, a couple of them in 2005 as production overruns, but they were really made in 2004. And I've read that they made 3,800 total worldwide. 3,800 total worldwide. That's amazing. Look at that, that paint color is beautiful. This bike has 126,000 miles on it. I've taken good care of it. It looks like it. When you have a bike like this, part of the curve says you've got to keep it clean because everyone always wants to look at it. Right. So is this the same engine as the Goldwing? It's the same block. I've read that it has a different camshaft profile for stoplight to stoplight drag racing. Um, it's got six throttle bodies instead of two throttle bodies. And it has a very unique power band. If you look it up online, the uh, dyno chart, yeah. it produces 110 foot-pounds of torque at 2,000 RPMs, and it's a straight 110 foot-pounds of torque all the way to redline at 6,000 RPMs. Jeez. So it's really easy to ride. You always have gobs of torque available no matter what gear you're in. That's amazing. And how long have you had it? I've had it since 07. Nice. The, uh, the hot rod guys like it because they say the radiator looks like the one in a 40 Ford. 
I wouldn't know. I don't have a 40 Ford. <laughs> He's a beauty. So obviously you don't take it out in the rain. I've been caught in the rain a couple of times. Mostly I use it for commuting and, and cruising the back hills. Right. So you do ride it for pleasure, not just for uh, coming to work. Yeah, I ride it every chance I get. I would too. That's it great. has a very unique uh, aerodynamic design. Uh -huh. The way the headlight is shaped, it's curved. It has a little hood over the top and it keeps the air from coming over the top of the headlight and then it's got a couple of risers for the handlebar and you sit so low behind all of that that you can run 100 miles an hour with one hand and it's not trying to blow you off the bike so no windscreen yeah no windscreen first time i ever rode this thing I jumped up on the freeway and that was the first thing I noticed is where's the wind? <laughs> I'm going freeway speeds and there's virtually no wind. Amazing. They made them in three different colors. This maroon color, they made like an electric blue and they made black. And you can get them with either painted rims, which these are, or you can get them, get came with chrome rims. And then you can also get them with a different amount of pullback on the handlebars. Wow. I'm not sure which version I have. Sounds very ergodynamic. How do you like that seat? Is that a custom, custom made seat? No, that's a stock seat. Stock seat. I huh? do have a two up Corbin seat. Does your wife ride with you? My wife rides with me once a year. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the answer to that is no. The seat comes on and off that easy. Wow. And the new seat just drops on and drops snaps on. into place. Change, change the seat. It runs a 1832 six cylinder, flat six. Do you do all your own maintenance on it? I do all my own maintenance, all my own tire changes. It goes through a lot of tires. I get about 7,000 miles out of a front tire and about 5,000 miles out of a back tire. I've had as little as 3,800 miles out of the back tire, but that's because I spin the back tire too often. Do you? <laughs> so you're a hooligan. A hooligan, yeah. It's a big bike to be a hooligan on, but it's easy because all you got to do is roll out in first gear and give it full throttle and about 3,000 RPM, the back tire is going to break loose and then it's right. time to shift. <laughs> that is so cool. I love it. I love the way it sounds coming down the road. Okay, that, that's, that's, uh, that's some good information. I added two LED light bulbs, H, excuse me, HID light bulbs to the front, and that was a huge, huge improvement. Doubled or tripled the amount of light that's being thrown you out there. You get seen a lot more. I was kind of disappointed with the stock lights on it, and those things work really great. What's the longest trip you've taken on this? Longest trip I've taken on this is probably 250 miles up to Lake Big Bear. Nice, and, nice and ride. Back. Nice. Got caught in a hailstorm. Did you? Up at the higher elevation. Oh wow! Even though it was August, it was hailing up there. Pretty stable on wet roads. Yeah, haven't had any problems. With, like any motorcycle, you gotta take it easy when it gets wet. Right, right. Well, that's very cool. Thank you for showing that to me. You're welcome. Put this thing away. All right. That is so cool. The dashboard has a liquid crystal display. Oh, wow. So it boots that. itself up in there. You can see it direct sunlight. It's very easy to that read. It's very cool. And I can toggle through. Uh, the trip meter, and there's my 126,691 nice. miles. Right. So it's got the gas gauge and your miles per hour. That is so cool. That's so easy to read. Yeah, even in direct I like, sunlight. I like the uh, the cover there, so that. Uh, yeah, shrouded a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, got the French in LED brake light tail lights here in the back. Yeah. Thank you.